Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today's lesson is over area of a sector. A sector is just a section of a circle. So let's talk about the formula to find area of a sector. So here we have a circle. Here is a section of the circle. And so to find the area of this section, we're going to use the formula area of the sector, so the area of this part, over the area of the circle is equal to m, which remember m is the central angle measure. That's going to be here. It's going to be m degrees over the entire circle, which is 360 degrees. So this is the formula we need to solve for area of a sector, or one of the missing pieces, depending on what we're asked. So let's keep this formula in mind as we head to our example problems. Here's the first one. It says, find the area of the sector. So I'm going to go ahead and write my formula. So we have area of the sector over area of the circle equals the central angle measure over 360. Plug in what we know and then we can solve for what we're missing. So let me go ahead over here and write down what I know. So the area of the sector, well that's what it's asking me to find, so that's an unknown. Then we have area of the circle. I don't know the area of the circle but I do know the radius, which is here. And we know the area of a circle is pi r squared. So all we have to do is square our radius and then we can find our area of the circle. 60 squared is 3600. Stick that pi on there. So that's our area of our circle. And then m is our central angle measure, which here it's 100, 100 degrees, so that's going to be 100. Now we can write in the formula. So I have my area of a sector, which let's just call that question mark, that's what I don't know. Area of a circle, I already labeled, is 3600 pi equals 100 over 360. Now here's where we cross multiply. So I have 360 times my question mark. My question mark I'm just using like a variable. It's like an x. Then I have 3600 times 100. It's going to be 360,000 and divide both sides by 360 and I get my area of the sector is equal to 1000. I'm sorry, this should be pi. And so my area of the sector is 1000 pi. So when we multiply 3600 pi times 100, we get 360,000 pi. Then we can divide by 360 and I get 1,000 pi. That pi is going to stay on there and that's part of my answer to the area of the sector. Let's move on to the next example. Here it says solve for x. It also gives me the area of the sector is 20 pi. So I'm going to go ahead and write what I need and what I know. So area of a sector, well, it already gave that to me, 20 pi. Um, so we can go ahead and write our formula just so we know what we need to solve the formula. So there's all that I have. Then we have area of the circle 
Again, I don't know the area of the circle, it doesn't tell me, but I do have the radius here. So area of a circle is just pi r squared. r is 10, so it's going to be pi times 10 squared. Ten squared is a hundred, so it's going to be a hundred pi or pi a hundred. But usually you don't see it written like that, which is why I moved the pi to the end. Okay, so that's our area of the circle, and then we also need m. M in this case is x. I don't know it. I'm trying to solve for it. So now let's go ahead and write in what we know. So area of the sector is twenty pi. Area of the circle is 100 pi equals x over 360. And we can cross multiply. If you want to, before you cross multiply, you see we have pi over pi. That's going to 1 out. So to make it a little easier, when you have pi over pi, they won out, so you can um, just eliminate those. So you're only working with numbers and then our one variable, x. So let's go ahead and cross multiply. 360 times 20, 7,200. 100 times x is 100x. Divide both sides by 100. And we'll get our answer, x equals 72. Since it's an angle measure, it's going to be written as degrees. So 72 degrees is my answer for X. Thank you for watching. And for more math tutorials, please subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.